Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. It's really early in the morning. Uh, I haven't done one of these kind of videos in a while. I haven't really needed to. Um, so, just wanted to give y'all a little update. Um, I know in my video about the boas, y'all can kind of see that, like, there are a number of those boas that was in shed uh, or in blue. Um, and uh, if you don't follow me on Facebook, you probably saw that I had, like, a total of five that I believed to be in blue. Uh at the time and uh one of them being my tiger rat snake but it turned out there were other ones that were apparently had gone into blue and out of blue um uh, before i could even uh, uh do anything about it sorry about that my rabbit's doing things stop it stop it all right so uh one of them uh who this came from was actually shere khan and uh, we're gonna take a look at shere khan down here real quick so you look at him there he is. He looks good. There he is. So he ended up dropping a shed, which I was like not expecting because I didn't see any signs of him having been in blue, but obviously I, I missed that. Uh, so yeah, he dropped a, a full solid shed here. Um, full solid one. So I mean, obviously husbandry is still on point because uh, even without me knowing, he was in shed and adjusting anything. He uh, he gave me a full shed, so uh, that was nice. But also, we're going to come on down here uh, to Cruella. Now, I didn't even know Cruella was in shed, like, at all. So I'm pretty shocked to see this shed up in here. I got to, uh, let's see, it's all wrapped up and around there. Let's see if I can get it out. There it is. So there's Cruella's shed, right there. It's a full one. It's a full shed, she back there. Mm, I'm smelling this enclosure, I mean, there's some poop in here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to give that a little search a uh, But also, over here, over here, we had Zuko, my Doomrose boa. Who, who was in the shed during that video and has dropped his skin as well. So that's good timing, perfect timing. Uh, his, his closure was just starting to dry out from when I had uh, up the humidity. So, and yeah, he looking good over there. He's, uh, oops, sorry about that. Yeah, he looks great. You know, he's chilling. They just ate, uh, I think, yeah, day before yesterday. So, uh. Ah, uh, nope. Yeah, no, day before yesterday, yep. So they just ate the day before yesterday, so I'm going to let them chill a little bit more today. So I'm not bothering them, so I'm going to come back and get and get this. Well, I'm going to have to unwrap that, but I'm going to come back and get that skin. But there's one more person I want to talk about. <sighs> so my girl, my girl Antiope here, she apparently was also in shed now she requires a lot of assistance or else this happens now she's got a bunch of stuck shed because as usual i couldn't see when she was in shed i uh, couldn't see when she was in blue couldn't see that it was time to really up that humidity level and so she's got some stuck shed going on and so i'm going to end up uh taking her out so you can see there it's on top it doesn't look the worst but i'm hoping that uh, i'm going to take that tub which is her water dish um, i'm going to put the lid back on it get some well get fresh water in it some warm water um and uh kind of let her soak in it for a little while and then see if we can take a nice damp cloth and then just kind of run it down her body to help get the rest of that shit off huh but huh baby huh you got all that stuck shed on you, huh? You need to get it off. You got a little bit on your face there, too. So, yeah, she one of those who needs a lot of extra assistance. And because I did not catch that she was in blue when uh, she was and upped her humidity, she's got that going on. So, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but it's happened every once in a while. And so this is not a big deal. It doesn't look like her eyes have any stuck on it, which is nice. I don't have to really worry about stuck eye caps there, but... Yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick little update on, uh, you know, sometimes snakes decide to go into shed without you knowing. You can't always catch it. 
Uh, but you gotta be ready to do what you gotta do to help them get through it uh, when it's rough like this. So, you know, I got, you know, I got a bunch of full sheds. I still got the one that's over in Zuko's thing. Um, and I still have a few snakes that I'm still waiting on uh, to drop their sheds. So, just want to update you guys, let you guys know what's happening, show you guys that uh, surprise sheds happen. And if your humidity um, and everything is on point, your husbandry is on point, uh, you can still get full-on sheds like these without having to actually do anything uh for your snakes i mean obviously antiope is showing us that that's not all cases like her humidity levels are high in general but uh obviously she needs them to be significantly higher when she's in shed um but you know in general you know you can you can keep your snakes in a pretty good environment and just get some full-on sheds every time but yeah i'm not gonna keep ranting about it um that's it. Just want to let you guys know what's happening with that. You guys take care. Love yourselves. Love your reptiles. Love your loved ones. And you guys keep spreading those herbs. Alright, Antipi. Let's get this shit off of you.